This is about the hunt for this missing 19-year-old Jay Slater. We talked about it before. Reported missing on June the 17th in Tenerife. This is what we know happened. He was out with friends in Playa de las Americas, a resort on the south of the island. He met two men there, went back to their Airbnb on a different part of the island, Ruro de Teno Park. After missing the bus back, instead of waiting for the next one, he decided to walk 11 miles home. At 8.15, he called his friend and said, I'm lost, I need water, and my phone battery was low. It cut out during the call. He hasn't been seen or heard from since. But, so there, you can see the map there of his, his journey. There have been some bizarre things that have happened since then. The mayor of a Tenerife town said police have spoken to several people who say they saw him watching the Euros yeah. after this last contact with his friends. Police are looking at an image captured on CCTV. Let's have a look at this on the, in the square. It's, it's claimed this was him walking between Euros games. Police inadvertently saved a different missing person while looking for Jay, a 51-year-old man they said was lost in rural Deteno National Park when out walking. This man, David Larkin, now denies having been lost. The mum the of missing Jay Slater said she's trying to withdraw part of the £39,000 that's been donated to help with the search in Tenerife. And if you have a look at the sun here, his worried family are said to be turning to TikTok and a sleuth, you don't hire private detectives anymore, you, you hire what's called a TikTok sleuth, who they're hoping will track him down in caves. Now, how you look inside a cave when all you're doing is rooting around TikTok, I have no idea. No, it's just it's strange. so, it's so distressing. Is it? So yeah. mysterious. Well, it is, yeah. And, and the, the nonsense, the cruelty on, online, have you noticed that? Yes. I can't, I can't what, believe so there are... Because I he, saw a bit of it, but I didn't... So I thought uh, there's, a, there's a page set up to support him and his family and to try and find him. And people have been going on the page yeah. as sort of amateur sleuths and but, saying things like, could he got, have got stuck to a piece of cactus because that happened to me once? Or his favourite no, be food... But before that bit, they were implying that this were... I mean, I heard... I saw one saying... Oh, the mum reminds me of the mum of Sharon Matthews. Yeah, she's giving you know, me Sharon Matthews thought, vibes. And I just how are you yeah, like this? I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Well, then there's, I think part of the reason is he has a very, very serious conviction for smashing somebody's head in. He, he hasn't got a, a very uh, attractive past, that's for sure. The one thing I'm most impressed about in this story is the diligence that the Spanish authorities yeah. have used to try and find this boy. I'm talking about helicopters, you're talking about drones, you're talking about men on the ground with sniffer dogs and you have to say with the the thoroughness of the search and nobody has turned up is there something very strange going on here well, that none of us can imagine i don't know yeah and it's a, the, the trolling is really unfortunate people saying that uh i i don't know just just stuff about you know his favorite food is roast beef and yorkshire pudding why not leave plates of it on the road I know. to see oh, if he can God. smell but it also there's theories now emerging about why did he go off with these two blokes that he'd only just met half an hour before yeah. in a car to a villa 11 miles away you know and what was the purpose of this and uh, insinuating that you know i don't know something <laughs> might have been agreed between them I can't work out what's real and what's not. I mean, somebody said, have I've, you tried I've, checking I've... to see whether he's joined the search party? Mm. You know, that, so he's searching yeah. for himself. Yeah. Is that a joke or what, what does that mean? No, someone with amnesia did that in Australia. Somebody went bush or something like that. Yeah. And the sun pickled their brain, seriously. So they joined their and, own and, search and he, party. And, and he joined the search party for himself. Yeah, well, it's not, it's not pretty mm. when this happens. You're offended by it. Yasmin, I'm, I can I'm tell. upset by it for, for all concerned. You know, it, it could says, happen to any one of us. Has the search party looking for Jay Slater tried shouting autoglass repair? If he's in the vicinity, he will shout back autoglass replace. And what? this is not funny. I don't even understand that, no. Uh, but then the criticism of the mum. I'm sorry, man, it's, this is terrible. It's funny that his mum flew over to Tenerife to help search for him and then immediately after landing said, yeah, actually, I'm not going to help the search because I don't want to be the one to find him. That love is a holiday. Dreadful. My God. I, no, don't. Don't even read no, them. How no, are we like this? No, I don't know. Uh, how are we In like the time.